plaintiff, Karen Elliott Clark, works with at-risk youth, and she also has a passion for poodles. Karen claims she decided to breed her male poodle with the defendant's female dog, and she was supposed to get two puppies from the litter, but she only got one, so she's suing. Defendant Jasmine Sanford has been a pet stylist for 10 years, and she recently opened her own grooming salon. Jasmine insists she never guaranteed that Karen would get two puppies. And she gave her one puppy, so she owes her nothing. She's countersuing for lost wages. Start with you. My name is Karen Elliott Clark. I was born here in the city of Chicago, raised in a household of two parents. And despite me being raised in that household before the age of 15, I was a mother of two children. As a result of this uh, early age experience, I went on and strived to do better things with my life. Became a cosmetologist instructor as well as a barber instructor. I began providing volunteer services to teenage girls at risk. And I did this uh, for the sole purpose of my daughter being able to hear things and not uh, get dissuade and her goals to be able to surpass some, some things that teenagers come in contact with. In the course of me doing this, I gathered a passion for working with at-risk individuals. I went on to pursue my education in uh, behavior health. I achieved also a, a degree in business administration. I have a passion for poodles. I have a passion for dogs. Yeah, oh. And I've oh, had dogs. You had a passion for fools, and that's why you're here. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm, much, I'm much far from a fool. I have a passion for poodle dogs. I have a passion for dogs. Some people have said I'm dogs back, <laughs> from back in the day. <laughs> yeah, I start having dogs for pets. So, um... You had them as men before that? <laughs> metaphorically. <laughs> so, again, uh... And in light of, every, of my reasons for being here, mm -hmm. I was taking my dog to grooming. And Let me stop you and just compliment you one on uh, your passion and your service. It's always a good thing for folks to help others overcome the obstacles that they had. The obstacles that you had, two children prior to age 15, certainly inspired you to want to help the other girls avoid uh, premature Mm -hmm. uh, adulthood, that's, just, that's how I would describe it. Um, so thanks for doing that. Thank you. I have uh, currently right now over 20 some years uh, helping individuals in Good. the field of behavior, health and substance abuse disorder. Good. You tell me, give me some background on yourself. My name is Jasmine Sanford. I'm 27 years old. I'm a pet stylist of 10 years. So I've been grooming since I was 18 years old. Um, I started a big box store a year ago. I competed on HBO and I actually won that competition against really? two amazing groomers. The dog I actually groomed was a black poodle. I used to groom her old black poodle. Okay. Um, that dog is also the cover photo for the HBO show. So I'm really good at what I do. Um, What's the name of the show? Hot Dog. H A U. Yeah, I've heard of it. Cute. Uh -huh. Yep, so I'm on episode 11, if you want to go watch. Yeah, I do. Uh, so also, thank you, right. thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this year, I recently opened a dog grooming salon in South Shore. I'm the only dog What's grooming salon. What's the name of it? It's called Royal Paws. Royal? Yes, that's my dog's name, so Royal Paws. Okay. Um, I'm doing really, really well. I've been open for three weeks. I actually had to close today due to come here. Um, and my clients are pretty upset about that. I'm a really uh, great groomer. I do really well. That's why Miss Carrie Elliott reached out to me eight years after us not talking. And tell me what happened then, ma'am. So as, as uh, stated, there was a time lapse in our communication. She explained to me that she was reaching out to uh, start her own business. Mm -hmm. I took her phone number, wished her well. And later on, I got in touch with her because I have a new dog and I wanted her to groom that dog. In March of 2021, we uh, made an agreement to breed our dogs. And in that agreement, uh, we talked about the uh, how the puppies would be distributed. And in that agreement, I didn't care how many puppies were born. I only wanted two. She insisted that it would only be four puppies that would be born, and out of the four, I would get one. And I said, no, there will be six, and I would get two. 
and I didn't care if about even distribution of the dogs. A year ago, I competed on HBO, and I actually won that competition against two amazing groomers. The dog I actually groomed was a black poodle. I used to groom her old black poodle. Um, that dog is also the cover photo for the HBO show, so I'm really good at what I do. Plaintiff Karen Elliott Clark bred her male dog with the defendant's female dog, and she insists she was promised two puppies from the litter, but she was only given one, so she's suing. Let me ask, you can determine the, the number of dogs? You cannot determine the number of dogs okay. that will so be. So you said you want, you were very specific though. You said I, either six or either four and what? Right, and my reason for doing that is because she was down, standing on that it would only be four dogs. That's not, and that's my not response true. was that. That's not true. I'm ex Excuse me while I talk right now. Mm -hmm. I said, I never thought about the dog giving four puppies. I was more familiar with dogs giving six puppies. And from the six puppies, I only want two. I'm unfamiliar altogether yeah. how many uh, a dog has. I thought that's, you can't determine. You can't. Uh, can you determine? I can't determine. Actually, she knows nothing about breeding, sir. She actually wanted a black poodle from two white dogs, which makes no sense. <laughs> which just, makes no sense. Which makes no you're sense. You're absolutely so, correct. So, what my what my uh -huh. comment okay, on so that I'm area now. was. I'm if, but my now. comment was, is because I had a black poodle, I had just lost a black poodle, mm -hmm. my desire and my heart is in the line of a black poodle. How I know that those two dogs, two dogs together couldn't produce a black dog. I don't know 100%. Because dogs have know, puppies. I no, I don't. Because now. doggies, I see dogs that have puppies all different colors. However, the dog that I have they're now. They're from different colored dogs. Yeah. Uh, the, they're white and there is, there. Jasmine is trying to misconstrue some okay. information and get away from what we hear <laughs> let's about today. Okay, well, let's, let's put that let's aside put and get yeah. back to what your expectations were. My thing was six puppies. I get two, mm -hmm. and we can look on page what five. What if it had been seven puppies? I, still two? I still wanted okay. two. What about five? Two. How if that's not six? Two puppies. How if because, that's not six, And my, my rationale for that, Your Honor, is this. She was stout that there will only be four puppies. That's not true. And as the four, we can look at, That's your, not true. We can look at your text messages, Let's do it. Jasmine, We're gonna and, look at the evidence and your conversation minute. that okay. you had with okay. me because okay. We, I'm ready there, for there was no verbal conversation. It okay, yes, there was. Yes, there was. Yes, there was. I have a witness. Let me allow her to give me a little more clarity uh -huh, to, let's, let's, since she has a little more expertise than both of us. You go ahead. Cool. All right, all right, Judge. So we did discuss if these dogs bred and they had six puppies that she would take two. I'm Thank totally you. fine with that. This yeah. is that's if. true. This is Peter's first breeding and actually you can determine a number if your dog has bred before. So his dog her dog has never bred before. I pretty much Yeah, made but her I dog have other stuff. dogs that no, have anyways, the first breed. I'm, so pretty ten much, I'm, I'm helping her out. <laughs> so on May 15th, my dog's gave my dog gave birth. She gave birth to five living puppies. The first dog came out she dead on six. arrival. Mm -hmm. She birthed six. The first dog came out dead on arrival. Mm -hmm. That hurt my soul. I cried for 30 minutes. I had to get it together. I had her come over after all the puppies were here, and I told her we lost one. She argued with me a little bit, but she said, you know what? I'm not going to argue with you anymore Absolutely, about it. Absolutely, because I'll I was going to breach a contract. I'm going to talk to my argue husband. With, argue with you about what? She argued that she deserves two, two dogs, puppies. Even though she birthed six and one was dead Two on puppies. So I because told her, no, breach that's of not going to work. Um, she actually agreed. I actually have a witness statement from our brother here because... Saying what? Uh, that she agreed to one pup because the dogs because were Because I was in your house and I could not go back birthed, and forth They with were you birthed. Why about, about your situation? They were birthed your, at my your, brother's um, home. Do you, remember, yeah. do you remember chastising her about talking while you were This talking? is what she was doing. And now you're doing exactly yeah. what you asked her so not to do page, times five? Page yes. 17, there's a witness statement from my brother stating that he was there when she said she was fine with one dog. I never she said also I was fine. texts me on page five 
on the 16th of May saying, hi, Jasmine, I am taking a girl. I would like to pick her out. That was because she then you had came, told me I then, couldn't get the me, one. And if I didn't come and get that one, home. you were going to sell she it. Then and came. yes, I wanted my puppies. So what evidence did you want to direct me to, ma'am? So far, she has shown me two pieces of evidence where you acknowledged that it would be one and you accepted that. I, I That's how I saw on page nine yeah, I as well. only acknowledged yes, that because I was in her home mm -hmm. and she had thrown down, you know, put up her defense that I wasn't going to get but one. I could not take the puppies at that time because they were still... They you have to take any of them. Plaintiff Karen Elliott Clark bred her male dog with the defendant's female dog. And she insists she was promised two puppies from the litter, but she was only given one, so she's suing. If there's a breach of contract in front of you, then you don't take any. It, since you claim you should have gotten two and taking one would not satisfy the contract, you shouldn't have taken well, any. Well, I took the one puppy because she threatened to sell it. And I did. I didn't threaten. I did I didn't want threaten. the, I did I didn't want the puppy. You did. You did told you want to show me, ma'am? On uh, page five and six. Mm -hmm. uh, at the, in the middle of page five, hmm, $50, that was for the service. And then message, two puppies, yes, two puppies. And then on page six, we never had a discussion. We just jumped into them hooking up and mating. After they tied for the first time, you mentioned to me about stud fees, which was $1,000 or $5,000. I've been thinking that she would have a litter of six and I would get two. I am keeping one and selling one if she only has four question mark. And then she wanted to go to, well, I'll give you one thousand or five thousand. That's not true either. That's, that's not true either. It's in black and white. Down that's here, not true. Jackson. And I have, I have my reply here. It's in black and white. You all never really had a meeting of the minds. Absolutely. Um, so I, I actually, I don't, I don't agree. But with what that. we do know, ma'am, is that you up front knew when you took that one that that's all it would be. No, I, she also do. circled judge on Excuse page me, nine. Your Honor, I did, did not. I did on not page know that. nine, she also circled Hi, Jasmine, one puppy. I'm, I am taking a girl. I would like to pick her out. There are two, she says. So my point is, you acknowledge and state that you're picking one. That is months ago. How now do you sue for only taking the one that you knew you were getting? I filed a complaint, Your Honor, because I felt threatened and intimidated. Threatened? And threatened? I felt that if I didn't get the one dog, threatened? I would get no dogs what out, would of, happen to out of the litter. Thre Excuse I would get no dogs out of the right. litter. So Be you made that judgment to take one. That's Why are well, you I'm suing not, her for I'm something? I'm suing her because I, we initially agreed that I would get two puppies out of the deal. And, and, then and I should were, have gotten two yeah. puppies out of the deal yeah. because of the way things were and when you uh, don't, developed. And Look, and when but, you don't when finish, I, you can talk over me all you want. When I filed a breach of contract, it was then that I is understood. Dismissed. It's dismissed. Okay. Your, yours is granted for Thank losing you your wages so much. today. You're being unreasonable, you ma'am. So you knew you were only getting one when you went to get that one. You settled for one instead of two. Have a good I day. I settle for Just, one. Your claim I settled is for, for what I did my time. You ain't made no $2,500. Oh, you want to see it? We, we have it. I do. No. I own a, I own yeah, a successful business. You are business. Rigged. You that's why you came to me. you a greedy pussy. That's, that's, why, you that's, why, you out, right? that's yeah. why you sought me out, right? That's why you sought me out, right? Because I'm right. a horrible groomer and I don't right. make that much money, right? right?